Hey everyone, I have a dynamic stretching video for you today. So when you're at home or outside the office at any time and you need a little refresher on what the dynamic stretches are, here they are. So if you're unfamiliar with dynamic stretching, let me tell you what it is all about. In my basic definition, I say dynamic stretching is stretching while you are moving, okay? Unlike static stretching, which as the name implies, static is not moving. Static stretching is the kind of stuff like this, like this, you know, the, the, what we think of as traditional stretching. That's the kind of stuff that you want to be doing at the end of your workout, okay? That's going to help increase your flexibility and, you know, help you cool down a little bit. However, dynamic stretching, we're getting ready to move, so you want to make sure that we're not just standing and holding a stretch. We want to get our heart rate up and uh, warm up while we are, while we're stretching, okay? So that way it prepares us for our workout. A few benefits of dynamic stretching, uh, as I was just saying, it's going to get our heart rate up, it's going to get our core temperature, um, up and just uh, prepare our body for exercise, which in turn, number two, is going to decrease our risk of injury. So we're stretching our muscle while we're moving, we're working the range of motion for a joint and the muscle. And number three, it's also going to help kinesthetically prep our body as well too. And what I mean by that, it's like, it's like movement prep. A lot of these stretches will mimic different movements that we might be doing in our workouts. So it already helps to kind of get the body to go, oh, okay, I know what we're going to be doing. It kind of gets the body uh, aware and ready in so many different ways. So I'm going to go through what we typically do as a dynamic warm-up and dynamic stretching, which um, is some, a few basic stretches working on the lower body, upper body. And I'm going to show you a few advanced dynamic stretches as well, too. So if you're a little bit further down the road with your abilities, um, you can do these as well, too. Or if you're about to play a sport, this will kind of get you warmed up further and prepare your body for a little bit more um, sport-specific stuff. So the first one we're going to do is high, uh, high knees, huh? It is like high knees. It's knee to chest, actually, uh, which I was going to say prepares you in turn for high knees, which is a, a movement, a cardio movement that we do quite a bit in our office and especially part of our interval training. So what you're going to do is you're going to hug your knee up to your chest, Give a little squeeze, big hug, and let it go, okay? Now make sure that you're not going too fast or keeping your knees down too low, but that you still are moving with it, okay? You want to make sure that the difference between this and holding it and this and moving with it is the difference between a dynamic and a static stretch, okay? So just make sure that you're still staying moving. If you have a large room, you can go in several circles or you can go back and forth several times, and that will help time out how long you should be doing each stretch for after knees to chest, we're going to do a quad stretch. So you're gonna bring your toes back behind you. Make sure that your knee is not sticking out to the side or your legs stick out to the side. But everything is nice and back. The heel should be touching your butt or getting as close as you can. And then down. Stretch, pull, and down. Now, not everyone has the flexibility to reach back this far. If that's the case, we can do a little bit of a hip flexor slash quad stretch. And for that one, you're gonna take a step forward into a lunge. Bend both your knees and think of scooping the hips down and forward and pressing the hips out. And what that's going to do is you're going to feel the stretch from right in line, like pretty much like your belly button, all the way down the front of the leg. That's where your hip flexor is going to be going. So it's going to start from here, down the leg. And then you might feel like going into your quad a little bit. So it just kind of depends on how much push you put into that. And that's a really great stretch to do. So let's do a few more of those. I like that one. And again, dynamic stretching, we're moving. So dip, press. One more, dip, press. Next we're gonna move on to toe touches. So we're gonna put our heel out in front of us, toes flex up towards the ceiling, sitting the butt back, we're gonna try and go down, touch your toes, get as close as you can, and switch. One more each side. And moving into sumo stretch. So sumo stretch is just like a sumo squat. So you've probably seen these before. Nice wide stance. My toes are turned out towards like 10 and 2 on my personal clock here. I'm going to bend my knees, pressing my knees back and open over my toes. Down and back up again. Bring your arms out to the side for more balance if you wish. More hands on hips. Three more. Three, two. Next is my favorite. All right, you ready for this one? Toes are going to stay in place. And I'm just going to tilt everything facing forward in a neutral position. So now my toes are facing forward, still about to the sides. And we're going to do a side lunge stretch. So weight back on the heels a little bit, just like how we would be for a side lunge or a squat. Back on the heels, bending one knee. You're going to feel a nice big inner thigh stretch, okay? Inner thigh and inner thigh. And then something called a good morning. So what you're going to do is I'm going to try and reach for the camera. I'm going to think of sitting my butt on the wall behind me. And I'm going to reach out. You're going to feel a big stretch through the glutes. But 
which is your butt, and all the way down to the hamstrings. And then stand it back up, and I'm gonna turn sideways for the next one so you can see what I'm doing. Side lunge, side lunge. Good morning. All right, repeat. Let's do a couple more of these. Good morning. And side, side. Good morning. Next, we're gonna go into a Frankenstein. It's a nice other hamstring while we're gonna bring our arms out in front of us. And what you're doing is you're gonna walk, kick, walk, kick, walk, kick. And that one's very nice if you have somewhere to go. You can actually move around with it a little bit. Let's stay in screen them. <laughs> and you're just going up however high you're able to. All right, so there's the Frankenstein. We're doing a few lower body exercises. Another one that we're gonna do, and this one can be a little bit more advanced, so just take your time with this one, go to wherever your body allows you to. Something called a squat hallelujah. So we're gonna start with our arms up overhead. Nice wide squat stance. We're gonna go down, we're gonna touch our toes, okay? Go wherever you can. Head, neck, and shoulders, everything facing forward. Let it hang. And then you're going to sit back into a nice deep squat. So weight back on the heels and sitting down. Now my flexibility allows me to go this far. Most people can't quite get here. So, <laughs> so this is just where my body just goes. But for you, you might be here and that's okay. Just keep yourself nice and stay. Make sure the knees are not buckling in. Keep it nice and open. And then you're gonna stand it up, straight up. Da -da -da. Okay, so toes, squat, stand. So you're really pressing your heels in the floor during the standing. And you're thinking of like powering up through the back of your body here, as opposed to, you know, get up this way, okay? <laughs> Very graceful, huh? Last one, sit, stand, squat, hallelujah. Okay, from here we're gonna go into a couple of torso rotations. So feet planted, twisting back and forth a few times. And this one you don't really wanna crank on your spine. You're just letting nice, gentle, loose, swingy motion happen. Not like throw yourself that way and throw it that way. A little torso rotation. Next we're going to do some arm circles. Good old classic arm circles. We're going to do five forward small and five small backwards. Five medium forward and five medium backwards. And then we're going to go five large Three, four, five, and then backwards, same thing, you got it. Two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do some arm scissors. <laughs> See, that's hard, arm scissors. You're gonna keep your arms up between chest and neck height, and scissors in the back and forth. And just like with the torso rotation, you just wanna let the momentum and the weight of your arms swing out. Nice chest and shoulder stretch. You're gonna feel it kind of start here and go down into your arm as the arms open up. Next, you're gonna give yourself a little pat on the back because you're so awesome. So I want you to pat back and think of like reaching down your back as far as you can, keeping your elbows in. And pat, pat, pat. I like to get a little bit deeper in this stretch just because my shoulders are pretty flexible. So I reach just behind my, my elbow, give a little extra stretch. So I'm getting my triceps. One more on each side. Last one here. Boom, all right. So that's some of our basic, basic dynamic stretches that we do. Um, from here I'd say do maybe uh, a minute like of air jump rope or like jogging in place, just to keep the heart rate up or jumping jacks. Some of our basic cardio movements that you are maybe familiar with, hopefully. And, um, and then you're ready to start your workout. Now, if you want something a little bit more advanced or something a little more sports specific, I'm gonna show you a couple other things that you can do to add into your dynamic stretches as well. One of them being an inchworm. Now, I'm, look at that, those dynamic stretches, they do some good stuff, right? Get the heart rate up. Okay. So, inchworm, what you're gonna do is it's, uh, you're, well, it's, it's an inchworm. You're walking your hands out, and then you're gonna walk your feet in, we're gonna do a little push-up in there as well too. So, from a nice tall standing position, down to your toes, wherever you can, you're gonna walk your hands out, keep your feet in place. Notice my feet are not gonna be moving anywhere. Walk your hands out, take a push-up. That's exactly what we're gonna do, push-up here. 